we are only just beginning to understand how our brains work and thoughts are formed. But that hasn't stopped us from pushing the limits of what we can do with it, especially in the field of brain-to-brain -brain communication. Just last week we interviewed Professor Kevin Warwick, who had a chip implanted in his arm which connected he and his wife's nervous systems. Now scientists at Harvard University have taken a slightly different and, let's be honest, quite freaky approach. They've connected a human brain to a rat's brain to allow its tail to be controlled through thought alone. Rather than using implanted chips, the Harvard scientists used a non-invasive procedure, attaching electrodes to the human's head which registered neural activity when the subject looked at certain shapes on a computer screen, and when the human thought about one shape in particular, the electrodes fired off a signal to an ultrasonic helmet attached to the rat, which in turn excited specific neurons in the rat's brain. Which sounds immensely complicated, but probably not as complicated as actually doing it. The advantage of the system is that it doesn't require surgery to work, although it's not the most slimline option for brain-to-brain -brain communication. This mind control technology has massive potential, though, for both civilian and military users. Imagine drone rats, for example, exploring disaster zones, or birds being used as spies, or paralysed people being able to control another partly mechanical body. There are even possible therapeutic benefits, but that's all a long way off. For the moment, this is just very cool all on its own, and rather bizarre. If you enjoyed this video, please do check out our interview with Professor Kevin Warwick, the human cyborg. You can find a link to my side right now, and click that big subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the other awesome videos that Trude Loader does.